What's up everyone, it's your boy Alexis and today I wanted to show you a really neat feature on the Galaxy Z Fold 5, a little feature that I like to call laptop mode. So let's get into the video. So the Galaxy Z Fold 5 comes with an advanced feature called flex mode panel. So essentially what flex mode panel does is it turns the lower half of your screen into a trackpad uh, when you're using an app in flex mode. And essentially what the trackpad does is it gives you some similar controls to what you would get on a laptop as well as some additional features on top of that. So in order to activate the feature, go ahead and head over to your settings and then advanced features, then labs, and then you should see an option that says flex mode panel. So once this feature is activated in your settings, in order to use it, all you have to do is unfold your phone put it into landscape mode and then launch the app that you want to use. And then once you're inside the app, you'll go ahead and put your phone into flex mode. And then you should see an option in the bottom left corner. Um, it's a little icon that's uh, like a flex mode icon and it'll show up if the app supports this feature. And then once you tap that icon, um, it'll turn the lower half of your screen into um, the flex mode panel. So on the lower half of the screen, you'll notice that we have um, a couple of controls. You can use um, the touchpad to click around on the screen as well as scroll. Um, you can zoom in or out. Um, it basically allows you to control the top half of the screen using the bottom half. So on the left hand side, you'll notice that we have um, some additional controls. So on the left hand side, um, starting from the top, we have um, split apps. So selecting this button will turn the flex mode panel into your app drawer and you can select another app that you want to use in split view. The second option is the notification center. So if you select um, this button, it'll uh, basically bring down your notification center. Um, you can also go into your quick settings um, using uh, this button. Uh, basically what this does is it allows you to access your notifications and quick settings without having to tap the top half of the screen. And then the third option is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so it's a screenshot button. So using this button will capture anything that's on the top half of the screen. Um, so you can easily take a screenshot without having to mess with any buttons. Next up we have the touchpad button. And so what this button does is it toggles on or off the uh, touchpad. So you can either show or hide the touchpad. And then uh, finally, we have the three dots at the bottom. So selecting this option will show you additional controls. Um, so in this uh, menu, you'll be able to adjust the brightness as well as the volume. And you can even easily access the flex mode panel settings directly in this menu. So in order to exit flex mode panel, you can simply tap these arrows on the uh, bottom left corner of the screen and you'll return back to the normal view. Additionally, you can also unfold your device and it'll also return to the normal view. So not every single app uh, is gonna work with flex mode panel. However, it should work with most apps that support the split screen. A really good use case I found for the flex mode panel is when you're streaming audio or video. So if you activate the flex mode panel while you're listening to an audio or watching a video, it'll actually show um, media controls where the touchpad is at. Um, and so you can easily control the playback as well as skip forward or backwards um, using the bottom half of the screen while the top half of the screen is playing um, the audio or video that you're streaming. It, it truly does give you that um, sort of laptop feel without having to carry a whole laptop around. So you can control whatever media you're playing using uh, the media controls. And then if you need to use the touchpad, you can simply tap the touchpad icon to display the touchpad. And then you can also tap it to hide the touchpad and go back to your media controls. So if you're wondering how to type on the screen using uh, flex mode panel, um, you can still type as normal. So you can use the split keyboard. You can also use the full keyboard. Um, you can even um, use your handwriting or uh, voice input. So you do have a couple of options in terms of what you want to use. If you're holding the device, you probably want to use the split keyboard. Whereas if you have it on the table, you might want to use the full keyboard. Another good use case I found for this is in the camera app. So you can 
um, snap a picture using the touchpad controls and it sort of gives you a lot more uh, control over the camera without necessarily having to tap on the shutter button. So flex mode panel does have a couple of limitations. So I found that you were only uh, really able to use uh, one app on the top half of the screen while the bottom half had the touch mode panel. Um, but I did find a workaround for this. So um, if you wanna have two apps running at the same time, um, you can open up an app in pop-up view and then minimize the app. And then you can go ahead and launch the um, app that you wanna use with the flex mode panel. And then once you're using the flex mode panel, you can uh, go ahead and open up the previous app um, in pop-up view. And then that'll allow you to have um, two screens opened up at the same time while using flex mode panel. This is the only real workaround that I found for using multiple apps while using uh, the flex mode panel. So there is a few limitations, however, you can work around them. So if you're looking for more of a laptop feel while you're looking for directions or scrolling through an article, um, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 does give you that option using the flex mode panel. So for my final thoughts, I think that this is just another cool feature um, that you can find on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 um, if you're looking for that laptop feel. I just think it's really interesting all the different options uh, that you have to interact with the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 5, uh, you know, using the big screen as well as the foldable uh, display. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about flex mode panel? Have you used it before? Um, are you going to try it out? Feel free to give me your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching the video. Please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. In the meantime, it's been your boy Alexis taking a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 5 flex mode panel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.